Hello everybody and welcome to my new channel. I would like to do my first makeup video about the kind of uh, everyday makeup routine that I have at the moment. Um, I do try a lot of products and it does change but this routine is actually uh, one of my favourite routines I had for a long time so I thought I'm going to share it with you. So after my skincare routine I like to apply a primer. I've been really loving uh, Pixie's primer recently. It's the brightening primer and it looks like this. It's a really lovely primer with pearls inside so it has that kind of pinky sheen to it and it's really nice because it really brightens up the skin and it's very moisturizing as well without being um, greasy or anything so I really like to use this one as my primer so here's the big reason for why I like to use this primer with this pinky sheen to it it's because I've been using um, a new BB cream at the moment and this BB cream is from Japan and it has um, a very um, strong yellow undertone and to kind of contract that I like to put this primer underneath and then when I put this BB cream on it doesn't look as yellow as, as it is so here's the colour for you guys This BB cream has a really nice natural coverage, um, so it just really looks like your skin, but a bit more flawless. Um, sometimes when I'm really, really tired, I do use an under eye corrector. Uh, I normally use the Correction Concentrate from Pixie. Um, I really like it because it is this kind of peachy tone, and uh, it just takes away the blue underneath my eyes so if I'm in a hurry I skip this but uh, when I feel like I need something extra underneath my eyes I put this one on the next step I like to do is my eyebrows so I sometimes color my hair in more like a red tone and right now I haven't colored my hair really so it's quite dark so I actually have two different tones that I normally choose from um, I really like the eyebrow cakes from Ilamasca I've got um, one in the color gaze and the other one actually doesn't have a name oh, she used to this one is called gaze and this one doesn't have a name um, but you can see the difference so when I have more of a red hair I choose to use this one and when my hair goes dark again I just use this one Into the ocean. for the eyes you can just choose a highlighter of your choice I've been using the um, Inglot uh, highlighter for a long time um, I really love the Inglot eyeshadows let me see if I can get this one out to see what color it is. This one is in the color AMC Shine 30. After applying the eyeshadow, I like to apply a gel liner. I've been using um, Pops Hot Pot Gel Liner. Um, this one is just black. Sometimes I choose um, a brown color and sometimes I choose a black color and sometimes I put the brown on first and then I put the black one on because it gives it a really nice kind of three-dimensional look um, but um, let's use the black one after the line I just curl my lashes then I put some mascara on Once I apply mascara, I like to do my waterline, so the upper waterline and the lower waterline. I've been using the inline pencil from Pop. 
For my cheeks, I tend to use um, a little bit of bronzer and also a little bit of a blusher. I'll be using this bronzer from Pop. Um, I really, really like the pink blusher that comes with it, and it just makes your skin look really healthy. Honeybee. Then I take a little bit of the pink color and I just put it on the apples of my cheeks. You have to be really, really light-handed when you use a bronzer or a blush or anything on your face when you are very pale because you don't want to look overdone or overbronzed or overblushed because that tend to look very wrong. As a setting powder, I like to use the um, Lumi Lux Radiance powder from Pixie and it's so pretty in the pan as well. I love the roses and you have so many different colours here. For example, if you want to have something that is not too sparkly, you can use the kind of champagne uh, colour that looks like green, but it's not green, it's just like a champagne colour. You can use this one all over for a little bit of glow and it gives you a really nice radiance as well. This rose is slightly lighter than this rose, so I like to use this rose on, my, on the apples of my cheeks and this rose I use like a slight highlighter. Uh, for an everyday look, um, I have a couple of colours that uh, I've been using quite a lot lately and it's um, the lip gloss from Pixie, this one is in the colour Hero. Um, it's quite sheer, so it's not super, super red. I quite like it because it really makes my lips feel really soft and moisturised throughout the day. So when my lips feel extra dry, I tend to use this one. I also have from Pixie um, one that is called Lip In Line. And you get the lip stick on one side and the lip liner on the other side, which I think is a fantastic little product. You don't have to look for the lip liner. Um, I really like this colour. This one is called um, Nearly Natural and it's a brown, quite matte colour and believe it or not, it looks really, really nice on. Um, I like to use this one and also this lipstick is paraben free so it's quite um, nice to know. Um, I have found this little gem uh, quite a while ago from Collection 2000 as well. This one is in the colour. Oh no, it doesn't say what colour it is. It's the coral one anyway. This one is like a lip gloss, but it's a matte lip gloss. So it dries all matte. Uh, and it smells really nice, like toffee. And I really like using this one. Um, it's a really nice product and it's really cheap. I think it's like 2 dollars or something. So that's really cool. And I also like to use the um, Follow Me lipstick um, from Etted House. Uh, I've got the other one with the tangerine colour. They both become the same colour. Uh, no, this one is not blue. This one will turn pink. And therefore, I thought I will use this one for you guys. Obviously, sometimes I use like a proper red lipstick with this look. Uh, you can do whatever. I think if you have a good base, a uh, very natural look, you can kind of change the look with lipsticks. So, for example, if you wear this for work and you can use it with um, a neutral lipstick and then for the evening you can just uh, take a red lipstick with you or a, a darker shade lipstick with you and then you have an evening look. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to make some more videos for this channel. See you later guys, bye! Thank you.